If you live with chronic pain, you might be prescribed opioid pain relievers. Prescription medications like oxycodone and morphine are incredible at blocking the pain signals in your body, but they don't come without risks. People who are prescribed opioids for chronic pain have an increased risk for addiction, which doctors call opioid use disorder. That's because opioids don't cure pain, they just help you not feel it. By definition, chronic pain lasts a long time. And the longer you take prescribed opioids, the higher your risk of opioid use disorder. It's a very difficult landscape for people who have pain these days because you want your pain treated, and opioids still are the best medication for severe pain states. At the same time, you don't want your use to continue in the way uh, over time that you end up with an opioid use disorder. When you pick up prescribed opioids at the pharmacy, you get a very specific amount that your doctor has deemed safe. But once you have a dependence on opioids, you might be desperate to have more than what your doctor prescribed. This can get dangerous if you start relying on less safe ways to get access to opioids. So the real scare about prescribing opioids for pain or for people that get stuck on opioids or experimenting with substances on the street is that they'll have an accidental overdose and they'll die. And so if you're prescribed an opiate, I think the idea is to use it for as short an interval as possible so that it doesn't take a hold um, and you get your pain treated. Um, and then once you're on it chronically, to, to sort of be very careful and work with your doctors always to try to come off it. If opioids are just a short-term solution, how can people with chronic pain find relief? Doctors are increasingly turning to non-opioids, such as aspirin, ibuprofen, and acetaminophen. There are also options outside of medications, such as physical therapy, massage, acupuncture, and even certain types of psychotherapy. And when you are prescribed an opioid for chronic pain, be an active member of your treatment team. Ask your doctor why they're choosing this option, how much medicine to take, when to take it, how often, and for how long. By following these instructions carefully and asking plenty of questions to make sure you understand the prescription, you can lower your risk of developing opioid use disorder for chronic pain.